hello and welcome to another gauge demo from VIPGages.com. Today I'm going to revisit my SBID gauge and show you what's changed, but I'm going to go over the whole gauge so that I can replace the previous video. So I'm going to cover the S buttons first. Now, just like in the previous SBID gauge, the S6 button will change the ranges of the gauge, the speed ranges. So there was eight ranges, there are now 21. So if you press the S6, it will toggle through all 21 ranges and it will go around and cycle and come back to the start. So there are 21 ranges now. These are also available through the menu and I'll show that shortly. Now, in addition to changing the ranges, now you may see that on some of these ranges, you get some very odd numbers, 247, 113. And there was some complaints about the ranges looking pretty rubbish with those numbers in it. Um, while I was going to remove the intermediate ranges, in fact, I did that, but people didn't like that either. So I put them back. But for anybody that doesn't like the broken numbers, uh, the odd numbers, if you press S1, that will toggle the intermediate numbers off and make the other numbers larger. So now we're back to showing only numbers ending in a five or a zero, which is standard for most aircraft gauges. And as you toggle through all the ranges, you can see that you can have large numbers if you want for all of the um, different speed ranges that are available, or you can press S1. And put the intermediate numbers back on again as well. So for some ranges it's fine. You'll see that um, these are all zeros. Uh, the next range has got a mix of um, odd stuff. Um, and then the next range, it's all zeros and fives. So those intermediate ones, if you don't wanna see the odd numbers, you can just turn them off with the S1 button and just have large digits. Or if you prefer large digits, you can have that on all your gauges as well. So um, S2. S3, S4 and S5 are your flap controls. So S5 will deploy the flaps fully. So I drop right to the bottom. Um, S4 will drop your flaps one notch. So, so let's notch it up. Okay, so S3 will notch it up one. S4 will notch it down one and S2 will return the flaps and fully retract the flaps. Okay, so the left dial also handles flap control as well. So you can just spin the dial left or right and you can see the flaps will start moving one notch at a time. So you have full control of the flaps over the um, left dial. Okay, so on here we also have uh, dual displays for knots and miles per hour um, as a little digital tape. Um, so this will change if I switch over to uh, miles per hour and you can do that in the menu. And we also have a warning light at the top here that will light in the event that you're stalling or you're over speeding, that light will come on. You also have a separate stall light here which will come on when the aircraft is stalling as well. Okay, so let's go into the mini menu. So you turn the right dial to bring up the mini menu and there are quite a few options in this gauge and the first one is the version and information page and when you turn the left dial it will show you the current version of the gauge and the web link to the manuals and stuff. So we turn that off. Next option in the menu is the side buttons. So left dial will turn the side buttons on. Um, there is a separate tutorial for side buttons. I'm not going to cover that here. So please check that out. I'm going to turn the side buttons off now. The next option is the set red zone. So this enables you to use the left dial to basically move the red zone uh, graphics. The next option we enable you to change the yellow zone graphics. And then the next option we enable you to change the green zone graphics. So you can fully adjust the coloring of the gauge. Okay, so the next option is the set the flap zone. So you can control where the uh, flap zone is. So this is the safe deployment for flaps. And we're going to use the left dial to adjust the zone. The next option being the set stall zone. So you can change the stall zone quite easily by using the left dial again. The next option is to toggle for knots and miles per hour. So you can toggle 
between knots and miles now display and you can see that the option here it's changing to show you the uh, the output whether it's in knots or miles per hour the needle and the uh, speed ribbons here all change accordingly let's put it back to knots the next option in the menu is the speed range and as you can see there's 21 different ranges and you can select the speed ranges um, using the left dial so you've got a more visual indication of which range you've got selected there the next option is the glass reflections and this is an optional thing where you can turn the ref glass reflections on and off and last but not least is the background colors where you can, you can change the coloring of the gauge from uh, a gray dial with a gray background you've got a, a black background to the dial you then got a darker gauge background and then you've got a totally blacked uh, blacked out gauge as well now when you change both the background colors and the glass reflections it will do it for all of my gauges so if you turn the glass reflection off on this gauge it'll turn off on all the others if you change the, uh, the coloring of the gauge in this gauge it will change it in my other gauges as well so that's the update for the uh, airspeed gauge i hope you like the changes that i've made and the enhancements i've added to it um, if you've got any issues with the gauge please let me know and don't forget to subscribe and come back and check out some of our other videos thank you for watching bye for now